I've got two of them here. And the good thing about these two is you, when you mix them together, you can make a plastic. Chuck a bit of this in here and an equal quantity of this. When I start mixing this lot up, get a chemical reaction in there that starts making kind of individual molecules join up into long, long chains. Long chains called polymers, and that is essentially a plastic. The plastic that this makes is called polyurethane. Now that might sound like something you've never heard of, until you realize that it's probably insulating your house right now. Insulation panels, polyurethane. You may even be sitting on some polyurethane. That seems to have worked very nicely. Plastics are made in all sorts of different ways. This is just one of them. So if all these plastics are made from stuff derived from crude oil, is there a chance that these plastics can be turned back into something like crude oil? Or ideally, something like petrol or diesel that can power vehicles? Plastic man. I'm going to try to cook up diesel from waste plastic. The first stage is to vaporise the plastic without burning it. So I'm making a super hot oven and a cooking pot that's airtight and oxygen free. I've had to uh, adapt it slightly, there's one more element to the build. Not only is a normal oven not hot enough for the process, a normal cooking pot isn't quite up to scratch either. So, I've built my own. So the plan is to put my waste plastic into the pot here. The ideal cooking temperature is between 350 and 400 degrees. Time to switch on the oven. Let's cook some plastic. Soon, it's gonna get hot enough to start breaking down the plastic polymers that I put in my cooking pot. At that point, they start forming flammable vapors that they're gonna rise up here into this condensing column. There, hopefully, they'll condense and cool into some kind of liquid fuel, which we'll collect in here with the plan that we tap it off and run an engine on it. As it melts, the plastic breaks down into different length molecules, depending on the temperature. For diesel, I want molecules around 10 to 20 atoms long. Right, that's been boiling away for quite a while now. Now let's see what we've managed to collect. Well, it, it certainly looks encouraging. Well, there's no doubt we've made a highly flammable liquid fuel from waste plastic. Question is, will it run an engine? Is a burning I can tell my fuel is too flammable to be pure diesel, but with help from some friendly chemists, I can separate it out. So here's our diesel, or at least what we hoped diesel. These guys have kindly allowed us to put it in their vehicle. Let's find out if it works. Kate, are you all right to uh, start her up? Uh Keep going. Look at the level on that's dropped down. This car is running on diesel that used to be plastic. Waste plastic at that. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Let's see how this goes. 